Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another live chat on my channel. So on the agenda for tonight is the Tom Ford Pretty Baby Palette. So um, it's a quad and if you're interested in seeing a couple looks that I create this evening with the palette, then definitely stay tuned. Once again, if you're watching the replay, thank you guys so much for, you know, tuning in. And if you're here for the live, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming. And I am just finishing my face, just like in every live, finishing my face before we get into the eyeshadow palette. Um, and just real quick, um, if you weren't on yesterday's live where I talked about it, I'm going to be recording this live on my camera so that I can upload the recorded footage, get you guys a nice HD quality um, video to rewatch uh, tomorrow. Hi Chai, how are you? Welcome. So hopefully if you guys saw the reloaded or re-uploaded uh, video from yesterday's live, it was, you know, helpful, a little bit better for you guys to look at and things like that versus the actual live. So yes, yes, yes. So I'm all set with the face. Um, I've just got contour. The contour is actually the Tom Ford shade and illuminate in intensity three. I am going to go ahead and use the highlighter portion to get a nice cream base for my highlight for whenever oh cool hi Victoria how are you I'm glad you got your notification um, today I did I put it up quite early the um, I scheduled the live like at 7 a.m. so so, <laughs> so yeah I was a bit more proactive today I'm just taking that um, highlighter glowy shade and just pressing that and I feel like it's just like a clear like translucent type of a cream highlight base that you know goes well under any powder highlights um so I was going to ask you Chai do you have the shade and or skin illuminating powder duo in flicker like the one with the dark brown and the gold because that is on that off of Saks Fifth Avenue or whatever the website is called and I was going to purchase it because it's like forty dollars but I didn't want to purchase it if it did if it wouldn't show up on me it looks like it would but there's not a lot of there aren't any swatches that I could see anywhere um, that looked like they were real swatches you know so you do oh, okay all right so I need to check out it's in my cart hopefully it's still there um, yeah so since you mentioned that website to me <laughs> I went on today and I was searching and I was like well before I check out let me just ask when I get on my live. Hi, Venice, how are you? Welcome. Glad you could come through. Okay. I really like that little palette. The shade Illuminate. I was so surprised when I heard that this Intensity 3 existed that it would, you know, actually work on me. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Cindy. Cool. Okay, guys, thank you all for the references. I was thinking so, but you know, sometimes looking online can be quite deceiving. So, all right, on to the eyeshadow. Now, pretty baby. I think it's really pretty. You have a backup. Okay, so that's good. You know, that's good. Okay, so here we are. No mattes in this palette, but it looks like we've got three satins and then one you know nice sparkly shade and we're just gonna hop right into it yes I did earlier this year <laughs> I went on Nordstrom they had some type of sale I was buying I don't know I mean at least for me I went on a you know a binge <laughs> I was like well maybe I'll return some stuff and I didn't return nothing so, so okay um okay cool so Hopefully this, you know, 
helps you decide one way or another whether you want this one. So I'm going in with Groundwork Paint Pot. And I guess I'm doing both eyes right now. I'm gonna have to re-blend that out when I get to the, that side, but okay. Seriously, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> right, I know. I was like, well, we'll just see how this looks. And it looked good. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with the darkest shade. This um, It looks like a dark brown, but it has like a plum tone to it. So I'm going to go on with that. <clears throat> Make sure my brush. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. Um... So for those of you who shopped on Selfridges for the sale, have you received your orders? Because I haven't even received, received the shipping notification. I'm quite surprised. I know this is only my second time ordering. Um, and maybe I should have paid more attention to the estimated delivery time. But I'm like, I hope the first order wasn't a fluke. Oh, okay interesting yeah so i have the foundation of danessa's and a couple of other products complexion products but i was contemplating ordering another shade of the foundation so i'll have to look at that i've just got to remember to do so oh okay all righty um, okay, so I'm in 08. Wait. No, I'm not. I think I'm in 09. And I think I was going to try in 08. So, or maybe W. I don't know. I have to look back because I was on a live a while ago with Vicky J and she had mentioned a different shade. And Nikki had told me that she thought that one might work for me. So I'll have to maybe ask Nikki when she comes on what that other Danessa shade is. So I'm blending that in with the Sonya G Worker 2. This one, it, it, it's a nice, bl it blends the, I'm sorry, I'm talking about the brush. It blends, but it's more in the shape of like a smudger type thing to lay down color but I'm just using it to blend so if it seems like I'm having a little issue it might just because it be because of the shape of the brush that I chose but I think it looks cool what shade are you uh Chai in the Danessa foundation I'm going in with a fluffy brush nothing else on it and just blending more Alright, so that blended out nicely. W04 and W05. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, that the foundation is really good. I like it a lot. It has a little fragrance to it, which I'm not that fond of. But it's not like Huda as far as the intensity, so. Alright. Now, I'm going to take the purple shade here and I'm going to put that on my transition area above the inner third of my mobile eyelid. And I'm just going to, I wiped off this brush, I'm going to take it on that brush and put that here.
okay, I'm just gonna have to work with it. Girl, are you serious? This is hilarious. Okay, I'm still gonna put it where I wanted to put it on the correct eye. My apologies, I don't know what I was thinking about. Okay, this is where I wanted to put it. All right, so that blended into the other shade very nicely. Yeah, I'm over here looking at this eye like, where'd the dark shade go? <laughs> Wrong eye, girl. Okay, there we go. Oh my. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10. Well, let me, let me do my, the rest of the looks. I mean, you know, finish the looks because actually I've only used this once. I mean, I did two looks, I believe. Actually, no, I only did. I've only done one look with this palette, so this will be like a refresher. So I don't think I'm in the greatest position to rate it. Pretty baby on a scale from one to ten. Hmm. Yeah, let me get back at the end of the video, maybe. <laughs> but so far, it's going really nicely. I mean, I think the quality is very nice, and I like the color story. Um. All right, so that blends nicely. Um, okay, so there is this, it looks like a rose, like a very muted type of rose shade here. I think I'm gonna save that for the brow bone and the inner corner and then for the lid, I'm just gonna use the shifty shade here. And so none of these shades had the Tom Ford imprints on them. So I don't think they're like, you know, the like wet dry formula, but I think you could probably get the same effect by just putting the shadow on your brush and then spraying your brush afterwards. But here is that swatch. It's very crazy. You can see that pink shifting to that like bluish purple. It's really pretty. The shift on that is very beautiful. So just a swatch for you guys there. Okay. So even though the palette looks purple, I don't think the look is going to show up purple unless, you know, I do some shifting with my head, you know? All right. So glitter glue. Can't do the metallics and shiny stuff without glitter glue, at least not me. Okay. Hi, Mickey, how are ya? Thank you for coming through. All right. And the nice, fun, shifty shade on the lid. Here we go. That's really pretty and very shiny. Oh, I just saw your um, comment. Are they all satiny soft? I think they are. I think they're nice and, you know, they, they're nice and soft. They pick up very nicely on a brush and on the finger, if that's um, any indication. But they have a decent amount of shine to them, so. That's pretty. That's pretty. So let me see if you guys can see any shifting on the eye. I can't when I look in the mirror, but just looking straight on, it looks pretty, pretty like a shiny pinky blue. So, but it's pretty, it is pretty. So I'm gonna go in with more of the dark brown shade just to intensify increase the intensity there and then hi Julia hello I'm going to I think that'll be it as as far as like the lid is concerned 
and then we'll do some layering of that on top of other shades over here okay uh for the inner corner and for the brow bone i'm just going to use the other shade that we haven't used this shade here So this is giving that really subtle shine, not too much. I think that's a really nice shade for the brow bone. It's not too in your face to look strange. <laughs> I don't think many of us want to see our brow bones from space. So um, yeah, it's nice and subtle. I'm going to go ahead and use that on the inner corner. Now, um, for my inner corners, oh, she's very good. She, we had a, she had a doctor's appointment today. Um, yeah, she had her six month doctor's appointment today and her, um, pediatrician was just talking about how well she's doing and things like that. And she's progressing farther, you know, faster than what, you know, I guess average. So that's positive. Cause she can like sit up on her own already and stuff. She was just sitting on the, <laughs> sitting on the table, just staring at the doctor. She's just so cute. I mean, of course I'm biased, but. <laughs> so yeah, she's doing very well. Thank you for asking. All right, the dark brown shade. I don't have to, why do I keep pointing to each shade in a four? in the four pan palette um yes that that's real real big facts right there time waits for nobody man okay and with everything that's going on we haven't had any like family photos or anything like that or I wanted to do like newborn pictures and stuff. So that's kind of disappointing. I guess I could have tried to do it myself, but I just didn't make time to do it. So, but we've got our little impromptu camera phone, you know, pictures. So, um, okay. So that's very pretty. That's a very pretty eye. So we're going to leave that the way it is and move on to here, onto this eye where I've already mistakenly put this stuff down. Okay. So, Let's just leave that the way it is because honestly, I don't have a baby wipe or anything to wipe it off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That, yeah. Yeah, I hear that a lot of people, um, you know, when we're having our baby and stuff, they're just like, cherish all the moments because time goes by so quickly. <laughs> so, you have a 27 year old. Wow. Okay, now on to um, this shade. Is that the shade I want to use? Yes, it's very, you know, nice and soft. I think I'm just going to layer it on top of that purple that we put there just to see how that goes. See if it does anything. I think it, yeah, it turned it like a more of a pink tone versus the lavender shade that it actually is. So you guys can see that. I know, I'm thinking the same thing. That's why I said, wow. I'm like looking at your photo. <laughs> well, you know, the photo on your profile does not <laughs> look like you, um, you know. You know what I mean. That's awesome. Okay. That's pretty. Blend it out very nicely. And I'm just taking that and just sweeping that down there. Okay. Now I'm really curious to see how this, the sparkly shade looks on top of the dark brown. So I think I'm going to do the dark brown all over the lid and then pop that sparkly thing in <laughs> in the center. So we're going to go with that. 
and it seems simple. I don't want it to be too simple, but at the same time, simple's nice sometimes. So I'm just patting this all over the lid. with my Sonia G Worker 2. Okay, now I need to blend some more. I'm gonna take a, my this fluffier brush into the like pinky toned shade and just lightly blend on this edge. Okay. Okay. More of the dark brown. Adding that right up here, just bringing that depth up a little higher into the crease. that's cute by itself I'm not gonna leave it that away but I think it's cute on its own like that okay now we're gonna get some glitter glue and press that on the center of the lid and hopefully we get some transforming you know effect Because that shade is kind of reminding me of like the Pat McGrath, like special shades at the end of the palette of her motherships, but we'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. So on this eye, on top of the brown, it's looking more like straight up blue. I think that's what I'm saying. It's looking more straight blue with a very slight hint of pink versus you can see the pink a little bit more evident on this side, at least in my opinion. cool yeah so this palette is interesting because I you know like I said I would expect more purple and it's this shade just leans more bluish to me but it could be my lighting as well okay cool I'm glad you guys can see it now what else can I do I can do I mean, the only brow bone and shade is that pink one in here. So if you want something different, reach out to another palette, of course. But I'm just going to use this in here. And I'm using a different brush because I can't find the other one. So This is pretty. This is pretty and it's got a lot of shine in it. So I, I like that about this palette. There's a lot of shine and shimmer and glitter going on here. Hmm. 
I'm gonna see about that sparkly shade on the inner corner. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna spray, or I'm gonna get this on my brush and then spray my brush rather than trying to put glitter glue on the inner corner. Okay. That's pretty and that went down really nicely. Nice and bright and shiny. I'm just dragging this on the lower lash line a bit. My inner third of the lower lash line. You can see that shininess. <laughs> okay. All right, so for liner, Actually, I'd, I'd want to add more on this eye. Or, you know, on this eye. Girl, what in the world? Okay. Going in with the brown again. Sweeping that on the lower lash line. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get some liner and this liner is the Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in Black. I cannot find my Pat McGrath pencil eyeliner. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I just really don't know. I'm gonna take that on both lower lash lines and the waterline. but I'm not dragging it all the way over. And then I'll do tight lining. All right, super quick. And another smudge down here, just to make sure that liner is going across like I wanted to okay and then for my lid I'm going to use this Isom like it's a double-sided eyeliner I got it with a palette that I ordered or something so I'm going to take that in the purple shade it's like aubergine and rosé let me uh, sharpen this Okay, and I'm going to put it on this eye. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll leave that one on that eye like that with a little, a little like kind of smudged wing. And then, and actually you can't even tell that that's aubergine, which is more of a burgundy, but it goes on very smoothly. So it's like a really deepened, like even there on camera, it looks like a dark brown or something, but it's a deepened like plum. Okay. And then on the other eye, I'm just going to do liquid liner. Okay, easy peasy. And 
mascara is next. <sighs> I was I just finally finished watching uh, Alicia's video on the Wayne Goss um, Pearl Moonstone palette, and I don't think I'm gonna get it. I think I've decided that I'm not going to get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the question. What do you think of Wayne Goss's new palette? I mean, it looks beautiful, I'll say that, but I just don't think I'm gonna get enough differentiation between the grays on my skin tone. Because those two gray mattes look quite similar. I know that the one has a blue undertone and the other one is it doesn't have a blue undertone, but I don't think it's gonna give much differentiation on my skin tone. And then the peach shade, of course it looks peach in the palette, but if it look it looks really light on Mel Thompson, so it's not giving a whole lot of peach vibes on her skin tone, not a whole lot of peach vibes on Alicia's skin tone. So on me, it's probably just gonna look like a, you know, really bright champagne. <laughs> So, so I don't think, I don't think it's for me. I don't think it has enough differentiation for me. So, it is grungy though. I mean, it looks like a beautiful palette. Um, yeah. So maybe, I think Vicky J mentioned that she was gonna get it. So I'll look and see how it looks on her skin tone. See if she can get much of a difference between all those shades. Maybe that will inform my opinion more. Um, so, yeah. But those eyeliners look great. <laughs> I was thinking about getting the eyeliner. At least one of them. Like the bluish one. Okay, I'm just chatting and not doing my mascara. So are you going to get it, Julia? Uh, nah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I am looking to, um, oh, handbags, okay. That's cool. My handbag has been my baby's diaper bag. <laughs> I have like a slot on each side of, on either side of her diaper bag. I didn't put everything in there so I don't have to carry an extra bag. What kind of handbags do you buy? Do you buy like the fancy, luxurious ones? Right, I was thinking that too, Nikki. <laughs> that eyeliner, it looks really nice. scored them as an F. Okay, that is interesting. Because they're getting rave reviews on here. I mean, at least from the people that I watch. Hmm, I wonder why. I'll have to look. Okay, cool. That's probably pretty, a coach tote. I don't own one designer handbag. Maybe eventually. They look beautiful. Okay, 
That's pretty. Oh, cool, Colette. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, I like, yes. You all know my little story of delving into cool tones. I love them. They're so pretty. This is pretty. Come on now. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so you have them and you like them. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, um, I don't, I have really n not gone on to Temptalia maybe, maybe once or twice. Just to hope that I could see some swatches of something. But I've never paid attention to the ratings too much. So this is pretty. I think I'm going to leave it with the lower lash line kind of like soft and not add the mascara. Because I think the eyeliner kind of did it there. So I think I'm good. This is a beautiful palette. Come on now. I was a little skeptical before I added the liner and the mascara, but it's so pretty. These looks are pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to do the little, well, let me put some lipstick on. So this is Madame Grage. We talked about this one last night. This is from uh, Pat McGrath. I think I'm going to do this one because it is cool toned. Hi, Lori. How are you? Thank you for coming through. So I'm going to use Madame Grage. You can tell, you can tell I was skeptical, huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to have more of a poker face. This is pretty. This is pretty. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, try with a um, less expensive. What is a less expensive cool tone palette that's high quality? The Glam, I mean, that's 65. Natasha Denona's new Glam palette. This is pretty. I mean, I've got to do some liner and stuff. Okay, liner I'm going to do is Cabernet because it's, you know, cranberry, not cranberry, like plum. And I think that goes nicely with this shade. Maybe brown wood too, but I don't know. Oh, thank you. So I guess we're all cool toned today. I think that's cute. Now I need some blush. So for blush, I'm just gonna use the Tom Ford thingy. <laughs> Tom Ford thingy. <laughs> the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. Goodness gracious. Um, the one we used yesterday. So per many of you guys' recommendations, after we get off of this live, I'm going to purchase this in Flickr. There we go. And we are gonna see how that goes. They definitely are, man. Oh my gosh. Yes, I was I was on the fence about this one for a long time, but I was just itching for another Lux Trans lipstick, so I just went ahead and got it. And I think it looks kind of cute with the right liner and stuff in the right, you know, scenario. So I don't know. Sometimes Pat McGrath's her pictures of the like lip colors on the lips don't translate on me the way they look on the website. So I, I was wondering too.
Okay. I think that's pretty. Okay. And highlight, I'll just use the same palette. Not the Blender Pro. Where's my Detail Pro? Detail, Detail, Detail Pro. Where are you? Right in front of me? Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty. I feel like I just see, keep saying that's pretty. Maybe I need a new adjective to describe things, but a very smooth application with this highlight. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that I'm like, oh man, now I gotta take all this makeup off. <laughs> I'll be ready to just jump right in the bed. Although last night I was up pretty late trying to make sure I got my recording all set up to go live today the shine and the smoothness of these highlights from tom ford man i'm mm, okay they're just so smooth <laughs> i mean the ones that i've tried they're just so smooth Okay, and I basically, I just used the same base. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, Madame Grage, it was, it was a surprise for me. This is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Incandescent, so I just used this, this highlighter here. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can get a swatch. My hands are moisturized today. <laughs> So I can get good swatches or better swatches than when, you know, of course my hand is dry. So there it is. That's the highlight girl. Okay. That's the highlight right there. It's so pretty. Mm. It's just easy to use and it's just so soft and mm -hmm. yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Steffi. How are you? Okay, so this is it. So the question that Chai asked me earlier in the video was how would I rank it or rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? And, oh my goodness, I would have to say it's maybe like an 8 or a 9. And I wouldn't say straight up 10 probably because I would like something a little lighter for the you know inner corner of the brow bone but hey we made it work with that mauvey not mauvey like super muted cool toned rose type shade it's just really oh my goodness okay i would just have to say a nine i would have to say a nine it's really nice for a play i'm not i'm not saying play but you know like a fun a fun look with this sparkly shade here but then you can get i think you know nice and every day with this dark brown and the you know rosy toned shade here and stuff so it's really pretty it's really pretty if you like cool tones i don't think you'll be disappointed and if you like a little shine a little color because of that blue action going on mm, yes i think it's pretty so i'm so happy you guys voted for this one um and i did see that people were still voting on the poll and actually as of today natasha denona was ahead of pretty baby but since we talked about using pretty baby today I went on ahead and did Pretty Baby. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna go ahead, not I think, we're gonna use the five pan mini gold palette from Natasha Denona and see how that works out. I know a couple of you were interested in that one. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do for tomorrow. Um, I think I can do the covering of the one eye. There we go. And once again, I don't know which one I like the most. 
I don't know which one, which I like the most. They're just both very pretty. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Steffi. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, guys, this was super fun. Like all of our chats have been. And just a reminder, I will put a picture on my community tab tomorrow. I'll just say tomorrow um, with a close up of the look. And then I do plan on putting the high definition video, raw footage, unedited to my channel, uh, uploaded to my channel tomorrow as well for anybody who may have had some viewing issues for quality. So hopefully tonight was better. I think it was better tonight, but yeah. If not, then look out for that video tomorrow. Thank you, Chai. Thank you, thank you. So, um, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me in all the fun chit chat. And um, I will be talking to you guys tomorrow in my live if you guys can make it over. Alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for chatting with me. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.